Code to Enhance Learning presents the CEL video series on how to write problem statement for kids. Episode 4 Refine We have covered planning, research, synthesis as part of our previous episodes. This episode on Refine will be the last episode of the series. Let's do a quick recap of what we did in the previous episode on synthesis. Step by step, we updated the data collected in the graphic organizer. We concentrated on a few major causes out of all the causes that we had identified through the survey. We voted and then selected the top two causes. In this episode for Refine, we will be framing the final problem statement and filtering any unnecessary information from what is necessary to make it more presentable and easily comprehensible for us and also for our audience. As part of filtering, we will be adding, removing or modifying the way we present things without changing the meaning. In our previous episodes, we have explored the problem through different buckets and collected responses in the graphic organizer. Putting all this synthesized information together in the form of full sentences to form the draft of the problem statement. I have briefly described the problem, people who are affected, their experiences and the causes that led to this problem. Hmm, this looks fine. However, I think I can refine this more. We will use the following checklist to refine the problem statement. The first point says, add any crucial piece of information that is missing. You can add graphs or drawings and also stories to make the things more appealing. Second, use short sentences and paragraphs to convey different information. Third, avoid repeating information. Fourth, all information is verified either by you or by a trusted source. Let me cross check if the problem statement written meets the checklist. So, the first item in the checklist says to confirm if we are not missing out on any necessary information. Hmm, after experiencing the problem myself and hearing the stories of people who are facing this issue, I think I will give details on the story behind choosing this problem for study. Out of all the stories, the story that has stayed with me is of Tina. Tina studies in grade 6 in my school and happens to be my best friend. In August one morning, I was waiting for her at the stationery shop, as usual, excited to go to school. However, she didn't come. After school, I rushed to her house to check up on her. Her house was locked and neighbors informed me that Tina was admitted to hospital as she got severely sick with malaria. After a week, I saw her at her home lying on bed, weak and pale. It was shocking to see her in this way and I got scared for her. Adding this story to my problem statement in the beginning along with the problem so that it will help in understanding the context of choosing this problem. Please note, you can also use either graphs or drawings to present the information in an appealing way or also tell your own story or the stories that you have collected to give more context. Coming to the second point on the checklist, that is, using short sentences and paragraphs to convey different information. I think the whole paragraph on experience currently has a very long sentence and the section on students and parents can be represented in different paras to bring more clarity. This is how the experience will look like after shortening the sentence and merging similar information. I have also made a separate para for the information on parents. 
the third point in the checklist is on avoiding repeated information let me cross check my problem statement for this aha i think the points on adults falling sick and students falling sick is kind of getting repeated i shall take off the first two sentences in this to avoid repetition coming to the last point in the checklist we have to ensure that the information is either verified by us or is coming from a trusted source after going through the information and survey i have eliminated the points which were not satisfying this criteria this is how the causes section will now look like likewise after cross checking all the points of the checklist here is my final problem statement woohoo With this we have been able to draft our problem statement successfully. Let's do a quick recap of this episode. We first put together the synthesized information in the form of full sentences to form a draft of the problem statement. We refined the problem statement using the checklist. Then finally, we formed our final and refined problem statement. I hope after going through this process you have got a better understanding about writing problem statements. Also, our problem statement now would give our audience a greater idea about the problem. Moreover, it would help us to design the solution to impact maximum people around us. You can apply this in the CEL Kids Hackathon and other competitions. and also instances of any problem solving all the best and thank you